Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Z, so welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. Of course, this is gonna be a general read for Gemini, so keep in mind, it may not apply to everyone. It's totally fine if it doesn't. I did pre-pull a card for you guys. We got Spiritual Awakening that did show up. For some of you guys, you could definitely be going through a Spiritual Awakening right now, or you did, I don't know, but it does look like an awakening is happening for somebody with Spiritual Awakening showing up. So that's the first card. Um, that came out for you guys i'm gonna pull some more cards for you guys to see what else shows up but if you are interested in a personal read you would have to join my membership for my channel so it's here on youtube it's called the club i'll try to leave a picture of it right here but um that's the only way that you can book a personal read with me and the other parts are just like additional our bonus read is that will only be available to members and what else I'm going to be posting like manifestation content on there too but just some other things too that's that's like very helpful um uh, for people who are interested in that type of content but yeah and I always po I'll post the new content on the community tab of course you won't be able to watch it but I'll just show you what the content is about so yeah, if you want to join, just use the link in the comment section or in the description box below. What messages can I give to Gemini? What messages can I give to Gemini right now? What do they need to know? What does Gemini need to know right now? Oh, wow. So the first card, we got angel numbers that's showing up here. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it 100. Okay, so angel numbers. Some of you guys could be seeing angel numbers. Don't know exactly which ones you're seeing. But it does look like here you could be getting some messages through those angel numbers. What other messages can I give to Gemini? What else do they need to know? So, wow. Why are the cards showing up like this? We got a hidden. Give me one more for Gemini. Okay, refresh. Some of you guys could have definitely gotten some type of truth or clarity that came in surrounding a certain situation. So I do feel like that's what the awakening was. You know what the awakening is like, hey. It's like things are not the same. <laughs> So yeah, it does like a lot of truth came out, Gemini, but it's like you're in, like if you go through an awakening, y'all, it's like you really got to keep it real and it's like you can't go back. Like you have to act accordingly once you go through an awakening. It's like no turning back, honestly, unfortunately. But um, yeah, with refresh showing up here, yeah, it looks like some things were, some things that were hidden are being revealed to you. And with, with this refresh card showing up, it does like for some of you guys, you have a new start. It's like a refresh type of moment happening. But yeah, my card light bulb did show up at the bottom of the deck. So yeah. So it looks like you could have definitely gotten some type of like aha type of moment too. Um, but yeah, let's get into the cards real quick to see what shows up for y'all. Tell me about Keep It Real for Gemini. Uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. My car fell on the floor. I'm trying to pick it up. Okay, so we got the Knight of Swords. Oh, wow. So, it look, I do feel like an energy of possibly you, Gemini, or somebody else in your energy that's wanting to speak their truth. What is Knight of Swords? And a, a spiritual awakening is, like, very significant in regards to a connection from what's showing up here in the read. Tell me about Keep It Real for Gemini. Tell me about keep it real. Yeah, the moon card. Yeah, if someone needs to free themselves, like they need to speak up, like speak their truth with the moon card showing up. And look, the full card came out. So yeah, it looks like for some of y'all, you're needing to walk away from a certain situation. But I do feel like this energy of like the need to move on as well. A person is very significant um, surrounding like your spiritual awakening, Gemini. So yeah. Um tell me about the tell me about angel numbers. 
we got the eight of wands that's showing up here as well so yeah this is definitely like the movement the shift that's happening here with this eight of wands i feel like for some of you guys you could definitely be seeing some you, you could be um because i feel like with this eight of wands it's like messages that's showing up here you guys you keep seeing like the same angel numbers don't know exactly which ones you saying you seeing but try to look them up but also to pay attention to like your thoughts or like what's on your mind basically when you do see those numbers tell me about hidden for gemini so we got three of wands i see like um there's like this energy of someone moving forward with this three of wands, but it's like someone has been hiding their emotions or like how they feel about a certain situation. It seems like it's romantic for somebody because look, we got a page of cups that showed up at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, it's like someone has hidden feelings for another person. So it could be you, Gemini, or someone else in your energy with this page of cups that's showing up. But I see where there's going to be some communication, like a, um, possibly like a love offer, like an opportunity that's coming towards someone. But we got a king of wands. So someone could be connected to a fire sign too. Aries, Leo, or a Sag, or just like fire placements with the king of wands. I do see where for some of you guys, you went through an ending. So it's like maybe you did go through an awakening and now it's time for you to like move forward. It looks like you're getting like a, a new start. But I do feel like a sense of you could be need to look the five of cups showing up here. I was about to talk about the moon card. But with the five of cups showing up here, some of you guys could definitely be focusing more so like on the negatives um, here with this five of cups showing up. And you could be still dwelling on the past. And it's like, hey, keep it real. Like, isn't it time to move forward? Like, isn't it time to move on? Like, isn't it time to speak your truth? Because once you go through, like, a spiritual awakening, it's like, you have to act accordingly. Like, you can't just stay stuck and stagnant. You can't grow or learn like that as well. Tell me about Refresh for Gemini. Yeah, look, Page of Pentacles. So, it's definitely some new energy showing up. Now, not really sure if you're wanting to go towards someone. Or someone's coming towards you. But I do see with the Six of Wands. Yeah, someone's getting the confidence here to speak their truth or like to um, reveal some things. It's definitely in regards to the emotions and feelings. Because I feel like maybe with this moon card showing up here too. Somebody was going through like a lot of emotional turmoil with the moon card. Or there were, it's like false fears and illusions too. And I do see where there was like, there could have definitely been a period of deception with the moon card, but it just feels like a dark type of energy. It's like, it's like nothing look real. <laughs> it look like some type of illusion, honestly, but it looks like you're moving out of that energy. The page of pentacles. So yeah, it looks like you could be wanting to make an offer towards someone or you could be wanting an opportunity because with the refresh, it's like a restart, the start of something new. And it's good energy surrounding this new start, too. Tell me more about Refresh for Gemini. Yeah, the world card. This is going to be a success. Someone could be connected to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But yeah, with the world card showing up here, this is definitely... Um, it looks like it could definitely be a new cycle for someone, too, y'all. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about this page of pentacles for Gemini. What is this? What is this page? Okay, so the knight, I mean, the king of wands wanted to pop out again, y'all. So, yeah. Now, this could be your energy, um, Gemini, with the king of wands. But it looks like someone needs to assert themselves with the king of wands. He's, like, very confident. Like, he's self-assured. Like, you know, he be feeling himself sometimes with the king of wands showing up here. So, yeah. It looks like for some of you guys, it's, like, time to take action with that page of uh, pentacles showing up here, too. And it looks like you guys have been, like, healing, going through, like, um, like, it looks like you were going through an ending. For some of you guys, your guard could definitely be up, to surrounding a new start with this Nine of Wands. But it looks like it's going to be an end to a certain situation. It's like maybe you had your guard up towards someone or someone had their guard up towards you. 
So I'm going to ask for advice. Give me advice for a Gemini. And I forgot to clarify on uh, spiritual awakening. Look, success. So this, this is going to be a success. Whatever this opportunity is for someone, it's going to be a success. It could also be like a career opportunity, y'all. But I did see the two of cups. But we got if you believe. So it's like, do you believe that this is a, a new start for you, Gemini? Like, do you believe that it's time for you to move forward? It's like, what do you believe to be true? Especially if you went through a spiritual awakening. It's like, nothing feels real, right? <laughs> so within the next few weeks, it does look like you're moving on towards something better, y'all. It looks like things are going to be looking better for you. But it does look like you could be needed to like, go ahead and keep it real, take action towards doing so, if that's you. So I was going to clarify spiritual awakening to see what will show up. Tell me about spiritual awakening for Gemini. So there's mental conflict surrounding um, possibly movement or like it's surrounding an offer. So with this five of swords showing up, you could be unsure about someone's intentions, y'all. That's what it seemed like. Tell me about spiritual awakening. I feel like, too, someone could be, like, a conspiracy theorist, too. I think that's how you say it. Especially if you could be, like, really spiritual and you went through an awakening. <laughs> it's like you got mental conflict about everything. Like, you don't believe nothing. Tell me about spiritual awakening. Yeah, look, page of swords. So, yeah, for some of y'all, you could be looking, like, you could be spying on someone, too. Or someone spying on you. Why is spiritual awakening here for Gemini? Why is spiritual awakening here for Gemini? Yeah. So, and we got the tower that's showing up here as well. So, yeah, it looks like some things have been revealed to you, Gemini. And so you're not acting, someone's not acting accordingly. I know it's not going to be for everyone, y'all. And this is why I keep it real. It's showing up here with this tower card. That's like when a divine disrupts some things. So I do feel like this could have definitely been like a, a really big awakening for someone, y'all. With the tower showing up. And we got the four of wands too. So it does look like if you did go through like a, um, I guess you could say like a harsh um, awakening, y'all. Like you could have gotten hurt. This, things are going to be at peace with this four of wands showing up. I look, I think it, because I've seen the two of cups, it looks like there's a connection that you could be wanting to go towards or someone's wanting to go towards you with this four of wands showing up. But it looks like you're going to have some things to celebrate for. It looks like you're out of this, this phase here with the tower card. Some of you guys could be like rebuilding as well with the four of wands showing up. But it does look like some things are going to be, it's going to be like a peaceful solution or resolution. Tell me more about this spiritual awakening. Why spiritual awakening? Yeah, so we got Ace of Cups. So yeah, new love, this new love is definitely very significant or a part of your spiritual awakening. Or like your spiritual path in general. But with this Four of Cups, yeah, it's want you to go ahead and take action. It's like, keep it real. Can you... Can you grow and evolve? Like, this person cannot grow and evolve in this energy. Like, they're over it. But it's like, go ahead and take the cup. That's the message behind this Four of Cups. This is coming in from spirit. But for some of y'all, you could be not really as optimistic about your love life. But yeah, it's when you should go ahead and move forward. Whoever this person is, they could already be in your energy or you already know of this person. That's what it seemed like. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... um in the read here y'all i hope that it resonates with you guys feel free to like comment and subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps the reach and the engagement on my channel